Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. The sun is setting. The air temp is getting a little cool. But guess what? The deals just keep getting hotter. That's right. 2023 Renegade Explorer 38 EMB. So we get a lot of requests from younger folks, older folks, and all in between asking for a coach that has the 45-foot amenities. It's four slides, et cetera, big horsepower, but they don't want a 45-foot coach. This is your opportunity, okay? So you know when you you go to um, a, a store and they've got something that's heavily discounted, but it, it's brand new with the tags on it. This is the coach. This is him, okay? 65, 6,600 miles, I believe. Still got the, the plastic on the screen, uh, on the multiplex screen inside. I don't think the manuals were ever opened. This thing is as new as they come without just saying it's brand new, okay? Michelin tires. Again, originals, it's a 23 model, so it does not need tires. The tires are probably dated 22 or 23. Freightliner chassis, the big DD-13 Detroit, 525 horsepower. 120 gallons of fuel on board. Six-speed Allison. It's the 4000 Series Allison. Full body paint. Amazing colors, too. I don't see many with, like, that maroon and silver. I like it. Okay, so 38 foot, 6 inches overall length. Going to go around, and then we'll open up the boxes. 20 thousand pound towing capacity. Tell me how many RVs under 40 foot can tow 20,000 pounds. I can only name a few and this is one of them. Renegade quality inside and out has the mud flap down here with the stainless. Extremely bright backup lights by the way. Lots of storage here in just a second. I'll open up the storage base. Four slide outs a 38 foot six inch coach with four slides outdoor entertainment samsung tv soundbar is again what did i say still got the tags on it renegade explorer so this has been a real hit for renegade they use a a big cascadia chassis with a 315 steer rubber i think it's got 295s on the back of it Big towing capacity, 525 horsepower under the hood and under 40 foot long. So big, big, big hit for our friends at uh, Renegade. Chasecoach.com, close to 200 pictures we are uploading right now to our website. Also has the price and a full description. So if you are interested in the coach, go to chasecoach.com. If it's on there with a price, please give me a call because it is for sale. Okay, so hang tight just a second. I'm going to open up the storage base. I'm trying to beat the time here. It's only like 4.45, maybe 5 o'clock, but it's this time of the year, it gets dark here really, really early. So um, we're going to speed through this one. I'm going to open up the storage base, open up the hood, show you how clean it is, and then we're going to get on the inside. So hang tight just a moment. All right, here we are. So I'll start out by saying this coach has the Detroit safety assurance package. And that's what that black box there below the passenger door is for. That is like a blind spot monitoring system. So if you go to shift lanes to your right, which you're driving the truck on the left side, so you go to shift to the right, sometimes it's hard to see that little Mazda Miata or the dude in his Corvette that's lowered to the ground. You will run into them. If you don't see them, and this coach weighs by far more than their car does, it's not going to be pretty. So this still over here, when you go to shift lanes, it goes, ah, and it tells you, hey, you're about to run over somebody. So very, very cool. A little annoying at times, but I think you can shut it off. I think. Don't quote me on that. You can see how clean inside and out this guy is. Another deal, see the little black box above that awesome looking Chase Motorsports plate. 
That is the box for adaptive cruise. So it has the collision mitigation. That box also keeps you from rear-ending someone. If it sees you approaching another vehicle at a rapid amount of speed and it thinks you're going to hit them, it will also honk at you. The frame rail, steering components, everything like new, okay? Underneath here, 120 gallons of fuel, your death fluid um, in the cab. Again, plastic still on the floor mats. We did not peel it off, okay? Garmin in-dash navigation. Um, let me click back on this. 6,300 6, miles. The video I'd done yesterday, I guessed high. Today, I... Or, I guessed low, and it was higher miles. Today, it was opposite. Renegade, the new Sears seating, full adjustment, leather seating. I like how they done the little sewn inserts in there. All right, on to the storage. So, the first compartment back is your house batteries and the engine batteries. All the wiring on these things, so incredibly neat. I'm sorry it's dark, guys. I'm barely catching this and right before the, the sun is gone. 75 gallons of gray and black. It does have the onboard macerator pump, as you can see the white hose there on the bottom. Our wet bay is going to have your black and gray dump handles. This coach is equipped with an electric fresh water reel. That's the electric switch where it says hose reel. You got your flow jet. Uh, switch, which is turns the macerator pump on. Also comes with a spray away hose. You can hook up to it. Uh, over here on the right, you got your black tank flush. You got your uh, cable hookup, and then your your city water and your tank fill, and then your fresh water filter. Oh, on back you have an 8,000 watt Onan diesel generator with a a big, a huge amount of hours. No, I'm just kidding. 65 hours is all. Like new condition as well. Um, something I do want to mention that I just noticed on this one, the storage boxes are Rhino line, which is a cool upgrade. Um, it creates a moisture barrier, it, like kind of like an insulation as well. Transfer switch and 50 amp shore power electric reel in the very left rear compartment. As I mentioned earlier, 20,000 pound hitch. It's already pre-wired for a Voyager camera. So if you have a camera on the back of your trailer you're towing, you can link it to the coach and you can look at the back of your trailer from the little screen inside. First compartment on the right rear is gonna be the spare tile. So that's great because if you drop a jar of pickles out of the fridge. First of all, I hope it does not land on your toe, but if it hits that tile floor and cracks it, no worries. You've got a whole spare case of tile included. Your central vac accessories are here. I see the gland head and fittings. I see the slide locks, and then your central vac system is located overhead there. Next compartment is just storage with the three-quarter pass-through, so you can see um, the storage continues on below the frame rail, makes it nice for putting some lawn chairs, tables, or just anything, um, portable grill, something like that. And it's already pre-wired for 12 volt and 120 in that compartment. We do sell the slide out electric coolers by Dometic, and I've also got the sliding tray in stock. It's a pre-made tray. We just set in there. We drill four holes, four bolts, four lock nuts, and set the cooler in and hook it up, and you have an electric cooler. So keep that in mind. I've got them in stock. This coach has the Aquahot 450D, which is the hydronic heating system. Basically, it takes antifreeze, gets it to a boiling temp, and that's how it will make hot water or hot air. Okay, look up um, Aquahot 450D, a very, very neat system. This coach is all electric. There is no propane on board. Next one up is storage. Some of your slide out electric components are back there in that little black compart or the little black cover. And then up here is a 3000 watt inverter. This coach also has solar charging and the solar charging controller is back there. So you see how I have the TV on inside. I've also got the bedroom TV on and the main TV, which is right there behind that window. All the TVs, I'm running all the lights, 
everything. I'm running off of the inverter. So there's no generator running. And as you can see, there is no shore power cord hooked up. We're strictly taking the inverter. We're taking 12 volts from our house batteries. We're stepping it up 10 times and making 120 volts. Big, um, the dual pitch Gerard awning. So it comes out kind of straight. And then as you can see, pitches down, makes for excellent patio coverage. I would say it comes off of the coach 10 foot, I'm, I'm guessing. Makes a very nice little patio area. I like the LED lighting that runs along the edge of the awning as well. This does have the nicer, well, I'm going to say nicer. I guess a door is a door, but to me, it's a little nicer quality. Um, the door is a little wider than some of them they used to put in them, and it also has the keyless entry with a key fob. So both sets of original keys are included. Um, one of the sets is with it. One of these sets I've actually got at the office. So when you see the picture, you'll see one set, but it does come with two. Electric steps on entry also has the um, screen door. Put it up and give you a little view of that. So when the door goes back, it magnetically stays connected to that. Ooh, I like this. The tiled entryway, and it's got like a little weaved inlay. I don't know what you would call that, but I like that. Here's the cool part. You ready? How freaking cool is that? That's backlit in that quartz or tile or, or whatever it is there. Oh, special this month. Buy the rug, get the coach for free. See dealer for details. All right. So for slides, we have two slides up front, two slides in the bedroom. Um, big stainless Samsung fridge. I love this. Again, this is running off the inverter. So this guy is ice cold right now. Freezer on the bottom has the ice maker. There's, It's actually made some ice as I was doing the photos. So stainless fridge, residential size by Samsung the TV got, sinks down into the cabinet. So you can see this pocket that it goes down in. So you can lower the TV down while you're driving. That way, if you need to look over your right shoulder, you can see out that window. Original owner's manuals, um, original touch-up paint. There's one set of the keys, all the manuals with it. Day and night shades throughout. So I actually have the night shade down over here. It has theater seating. And the theater seating is electric, too. So, got the little lit cup holders, and you press this button, as you can see, and they will recline. Makes for a very comfortable evening, because you got the theater seating there, and then your big 55-inch, I'm guessing, Samsung Smart TV. Oh, and I'm just running off of the amplified rabbit ears right there. That's not, like, direct TV system or nothing. That is just a... Literally a amplified set of old school rabbit ears that um, Weingard makes and Renegade puts on top of the coach. Air ride driver and passenger seat up in the front of the coach. It also has the privacy shade. I put a picture of that at chasecoach.com. So you unvelcro it and it goes like halfway and then this one comes over and goes halfway. Six-speed transmission, it's going to drive just like a pickup truck. I mean, obviously, it's a little bigger and heavier, but um, men, if you've never drove a truck like this, don't let it scare you. Within a couple miles down the interstate, you'll be going, man, this was way easier than it looks. Don't be intimidated at all. And ladies, we have a lot of ladies that, um, that you know, come in, they've never drove something like this, and they're like, oh, I would never be able to. One or two little times, a little test run, get out on the interstate, four lane, plenty of room. They're like, I wish I would have started years ago. So very easy. A lot of the steering wheel controls, you can set your cruise and scan through the deal on your screen. You got your GPS, stereo, Bluetooth, um, electric trailer brake controller. Up here's your Voyager cam display. So that'll show your backup camera on the coach or the trailer if you have one on your trailer. We talked about the theater seating the kitchen area has a two-burner induction cooktop, and then it has the Samsung convection microwave overhead. I, we, I always brag on the quality of the cabinets in the Renegade. Going down the road, you don't hear those guys vibrating and beating and banging and everything. Very, very, very nice craftsmanship. I think, 
And again, don't hold me to it, but I think they're Amish made, pretty sure. Um, stainless sink, big single bowl sink, lots of cabinets that all soft closed drawers. Yep, very nice. Big drawer here too. Oh, this comes with a can of the lube that you lube the slide components with, um, an adapter to go from 50 to 30 amp, couple of your whole house water filters, and look at there, the remote for the TV, okay? So you can make that guy go down and up remote, or there's a button over there on the wall if you lose the remote or, or something like that. Um, I think we covered most of the front. So again, keep in mind, there's a slide here, and the kitchen is on a slide, so it makes for lots of room up front. Now, it was the 38 EMB, which I think part of that stands for mid-bath, multiplex system. Before I forget, this is showing our water level, tank levels, water pump on, generators I mentioned earlier, 65 hours, but you can control the lighting, the electric, the thermostats, the roof vents. You can even run the TV up and down here, slides, awning. It's got the mobile app where you can scan that and um, literally run the whole entire coach from your cell phone, okay? Very, very cool stuff. Like new with tags. That's what we're going to call this coach, like new with tags. You can see the film is still on the screen. Mid-bath, so not a huge bathroom, but a lot of room in the bedroom when you get out of the bathroom to go back and change your clothes and everything. Okay, you have a little vanity sink area, macerator, one of the Sandy Marin toilets, medicine cabinet, couple cabinets overhead. And then the showers, good size, um, has the glass, sliding glass doors on the shower, tiled with a, the backsplash up here, or the decorative tile to match the backsplash in the kitchen. Oh, and it also has the skylight, which when it's daylight outside is really cool. More cabinets down here is your um, panels for your electricity. So one panel is going to be everything that um, the inverter feeds. The other panel is everything that the generator or shore power feeds. And then that is the controller showing if the coach is inverting or solar charging. All that's there. It is already equipped with the washer and dryer. Of course, the um, washing machine is the heavier of the two. So it'll be on the bottom and then the dryer is up on the top. Let me open this up for you. There you go. So dryer on the top, washing machine on the bottom. Oh, before I forget, heated floors. So porcelain tile floors that are heated and they're dual zone heated, okay? So you can heat the front, you can heat the rear, you can heat both. Um, you can set one higher than the other. Dual zone heated floors, porcelain tile flooring in this coach. I didn't think in the 40-foot and smaller coaches they put heated floors, but I was wrong because I was actually going through the screen earlier on the thermostat, floor and base. So this has heated bays, heated storage bays. So you can set the storage bay heat. Currently, it's at 50 degrees. Um, it's or the, the current temp in the storage base is 54, but it's set on 50, and then you see your floor heat front and rear there. In the back... King size bed. Let me turn this TV down just a bit. Again, this is running just off of the rabbit ears. That's our local news playing. And it's just um, straight off of the amplified antenna. We'll kind of zoom out here. So king size bed with plenty of room to access both sides of the bed. Again, in a 40-foot coach, that's something that's typically they use... They really shrink the room down, but here you got plenty of room to walk around both sides. King size bed, a very neat headboard in it. I like the like padded headboard there. Some cabinets overhead. Does have the ceiling fan. I know a lot of you guys. That's a big request. People that during the summer or even during the winter want to sleep with a fan on. And um, then over there, across from the bed, we have another slide with lots of cabinets, DVD player. Um, the coach is wired for in-motion satellite, so the connections for that, if you want to get like direct TV or dish network, all that, all of the cables is already down here and ready uh, for you to get your box and, and plug in. I believe that covers 90% of it. I don't know if I mentioned you have a pocket door here, so that's how you do close the bathroom off. This slides out of the wall, so let me close that and kind of back up where you can see it a little bit. 
there you go. So sliding pocket door. There's another one back there that separates the bedroom from the front area. But I believe that covers 95% of it. I do appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And if you have, we greatly appreciate each and every one of you. We offer nationwide delivery. We offer financing. We accept trades. And we would love to earn your business. So if there's any questions that I can answer for you, please reach out to me at any point in time. And uh, we'll throw my phone number up there on the screen. Again, we do these videos. Obviously, we're trying to sell the coach, um, but it uh, hopefully gets you a little more familiar with the Renegade product and um, maybe one day leads to a sale with us or, or someone else. So some of these videos I know probably benefit other dealers as well, and I am perfectly okay with that. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. I appreciate your time today and um, make the best of what's left of the day, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. One thing that I did forget to do I want to show you is with the slides in, okay? This is a quad slide unit, so there's two slides that come together in the front and then in the rear as well. So you can see I came up through the stairwell. You've got about two foot from the edge of the right front slide to the edge of the countertop here in the kitchen. It gets a little wider here, so three plus foot from the fridge to the uh, countertop where the sink and cooktop is. The narrowest spot is here, probably about a foot between the theater seating and the little uh, dinette booth. And then again, about 12 inches here. And then as you make your way up front, it's pretty much open. And oh, this is a walk through cab. So you see this is full height here, okay? Then you turn around and you have about a foot here and you continue back foot, a foot, and then you get back here, and again, that's where we started out about, um, I don't know, 18, 20 inches, maybe two foot total.